Today's episode is all about doing this now when you procrastinate. Before we jump into this amazing topic, I have to first tell all of you, thank you so much for supporting my small business perspective plans during Black Friday. It was so amazing to see so many familiar names that comment on the show as a customer. So thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. And if you missed the sale, use our code PLAN20 for 20% off. That's our forever code that never expires and we'll likely be having a Christmas sale as well. So stay tuned and thank you for shopping small. So let's get started. Perspective Plans with new videos and podcasts weekly. Join our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash perspective plans for exclusive videos and more. Visit PerspectivePlans.com for all of your planner and stationary needs. Only at Perspective Plans, helping you plan for what's to come. Hello everyone, I'm Christina B. Rising and welcome to the Perspective Plan Show, where I cover planner and productivity tips to help you plan for what's to come. Subscribe now for new podcasts and videos weekly so that you won't miss anything. Shop for workbooks, printables, and stickers at PerspectivePlans.com. And last but not least, this episode will not be possible without the support of our Perspective Plans patrons and channel members. Thank you. Now let's get into this episode. Tip one, set clear goals. Setting specific goals is the first step in overcoming procrastination. Staying motivated and focused is simpler when you have a clear idea of what you want to accomplish. Make a to-do list and divide your chores into manageable portions. Make sure objectives are smart, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and of course, time bound to further increase their efficacy. Your objectives become even more effective tools for overcoming procrastination when they meet the these requirements. Measurable objectives allow you to monitor your progress and maintain accountability. While specific goals provides you clarity on exactly what has to be done, setting realistic ambitions, avoiding overload, and sustaining drive are all made possible by attainable goals. Time-bound goals provide your job structure and a feeling of urgency, while relevant goals keep you concentrated on things that actually matter to you. Moreover, as was already said, you may prevent feeling overburdened by dividing your duties into manageable chunks. This tactic helps you feel more accomplished as you do each minor work and lessens the perceived difficulty of the ultimate objective. Additionally, think about tying the accomplishment of your goals to a system of rewards. Reward yourself with a favorite snack, a little break, or even some downtime as you hit new heights. This can boost motivation even more and add to the enjoyment of setting and achieving your goals. In conclusion, smart objectives that are both clear and attainable, together with reasonable task splits and incentives, will help you overcome procrastination and maintain project and task momentum. Tip two, prioritize tasks. When we feel overwhelmed by the quantity of chores we have to complete, we frequently procrastinate. Therefore, it's critical to order your jobs according to significance and completion date. Focus on the things that are most important and finish them first. You'll feel accomplished and get momentum by doing this, which will inspire you to keep going. Setting work priorities is similar to making a productivity journey map. Use strategies like the ABCD approach or the Eisenhower matrix to further develop this idea. You may want to divide jobs into four quadrants using the Eisenhower matrix according to their significance and of course urgency. Identifying and addressing vital activities important and urgent in a timely manner assigning less important but urgent jobs delaying important but non-urgent tasks and minimizing or eliminating work that are neither important nor urgent are all made possible by this strategy. This approach guarantees that you're constantly focusing on the things that are really important to you by helping with both prioritization and efficient time management. Using the ABCD approach, which involves giving task priority labels, is another useful tactic. A activities are the most crucial and must be completed right away. B tasks are similarly crucial, but less urgent, and C chores are pleasant to do, but not necessary, and D tasks can be assigned to others or even removed. You may handle less important chores while methodically addressing higher priority ones by organizing your work in this manner. This approach reduces the possibility that you will put off important activities and helps you stay focused on what really matters. 
Therefore, keep in mind to use these task prioritizing strategies to improve your productivity and efficiently overcome procrastination when you're feeling overloaded. Tip three, eliminate distractions. Productivity's ultimate enemy is distraction. You need to clear your workspace of any distractions if you want to overcome procrastination. Find a quiet area to work in and put your phone away. Also shut any tabs on your computer that are not even required to your actual task. You may focus entirely on the topic at hand by setting up a distraction-free area. Distraction removal is a complex task in the hyper-connected world of today. Digital distractions are just as important as physical ones, such as messy workstations and of course ringing phones. In order to temporarily prevent access to distracting websites and apps during those working hours, think about utilizing productivity apps and of course website blockers. With the aid of these tools, you can stay focused and resist the need to check your email or browse social media inanely in order to put off your tasks. You may also want to use the Pomodoro technique, which also has you working for a certain period of time, often 25 minutes, and then pausing for a little period of time. Using an organized method helps you stay focused and allows you to set out certain times for quick distractions, which makes it simpler to ignore than when working. In addition, it's critical to deal with internal distractions like task anxiety and daydreaming thoughts. You may improve your capacity to stay present and involved with your job and sharpen your attention span by practicing mindfulness meditation or other similar techniques. You may learn to recognize when your attention is strained and gently bringing it back to the job at hand by implementing mindfulness activities into your daily routine. By doing this, you'll be able to get rid of outside distractions as well as build the mental toughness required to get beyond internal ones, which will help you fight procrastination even more successfully. Tip four, break it down. Sometimes a task might appear too difficult, which causes one to put it off. The secret is to divide it into smaller, easier to handle steps. You'll find it simpler to get started and make progress if you break a large work down into smaller subtasks. You'll be astonished at how much you can do if you take it one step at a time. Not only can you overcome procrastination by breaking down activities into smaller, more manageable chunks, but you can also increase your overall productivity and efficiency by using this effective method. Not only does this reduce the overwhelming nature of the work at hand, but it also provides a clear path to accomplishment. With this method, you may concentrate on doing one job at a time, which can be really inspiring as you complete each little work. Furthermore, when you celebrate reaching these mini goals along the way, it's a great method to keep feeling accomplished throughout a project. Using task management and project planning tools like to-do lists, Kanban boards, or even project management softwares may help you take this idea, may help you take this idea a step further. You may effectively prioritize your chores, see how you're doing, and monitor your progress with the aid of these tools. They also offer a feeling of order and structure that helps lessen feelings of overwhelm and improve your capacity to fulfill your obligations on time. So keep in mind that breaking things down is a basic tactic for maximizing your productivity and achieving your goals with more ease and happiness than simply beating procrastination. If you have tried bullet journaling, time blocking, or just plain old to-do lists but haven't found the right solution to manage your time, then it's time to try out the Hourly Planner Bundle. This is the ultimate planner with everything you need to manage your schedule and get things done today. Featuring 300 plus planner pages with and without sidebars, 100 plus event and holiday labels, and over 2,000 plus planner stickers in 14 unique colors. All this and more can be found in our hourly planner bundle, available in two amazing color options at PerspectivePlans.com. Paperback edition, now available at Amazon. Helping you plan for what's to come. Tip five, set a timer. When it comes to productivity, time may be both a friend and of course an enemy. Use time management to your advantage by establishing a timer for focused work periods. For instance, the Pomodoro Technique advises working in increments of 25 minutes, followed by a brief rest. You may avoid burnout and keep your focus by using this strategy. 
One of the best ways to use time as an ally in the fight against procrastination is to set a timer. You can experiment with different time intervals in addition to the Pomodoro technique to find what suits your particular workflow the best. Some people find that working for 10 or 15 minutes in short intensive spurts helps them stay very focused, while others could work for 45 minutes or an hour at a time. The secret is to adjust the timer intervals to your energy and of course your attention span. No matter how long it is set for, the timer is an effective psychological instrument. It gives a defined goal which makes activities feel more doable and it fosters a feeling of urgency, motivating you to make the most of the time allocated. Timer devices may also be a useful tool for monitoring your development and improving your work habits. When you keep track of your productivity throughout time work sessions, you may see trends in your work output. Determine when you work best and modify your schedule appropriately. By streamlining your workflow and tackling activities when you're most productive by nature, this self-awareness may help you fight procrastination and sustain a steady level of productivity throughout the day. Thus, accept the timer as a flexible and useful tool in your pursuit of increased productivity and attention. Tip six, find accountability. When alone, procrastination frequently flourishes. Find a study group or even an accountability partner to help you get through it. Having a support system and a source of encouragement to discuss your objectives and achievements with you will help you to stay on track one of the most effective ways to overcome procrastination and increase productivity is to look for responsibility. Not only are you accountable for your personal success when you work with an accountability partner or participate in a study group, but you also have an obligation to communicate your objectives and accomplishments to others. This additional level of accountability may be a strong incentive as it will force you to keep your word to your partner or other group members. It may be a game changer to know that someone is counting on you to go forward since it forces you to maintain discipline and attention even in the face of procrastination temptations. Study groups and accountability partners also offer a helpful support network. They provide support, guidance, and a listening ear for your thoughts and difficulties. Together you may discuss shared problems, exchange productivity hacks, and acknowledge each other's accomplishments. This sense of belonging and a common purpose may create a supportive atmosphere that will help you overcome procrastination and make the process of reaching your objectives more pleasurable and rewarding. Thus, don't be afraid to look for accountability partners or join study groups. Doing so can significantly change your trajectory towards success and higher productivity. Tip seven, reward yourself. Lack of immediate benefits is a common cause of procrastination. Give yourself a treat, whether it's a tasty snack, a little break to watch your preferred program, or some well-earned downtime. By rewarding yourself for being productive, you develop good connections with it, which makes it simply to avoid procrastinating in the future. So take matters into your own hands and customize your rewards to guard off procrastination. Giving oneself a reward is a great approach to teach your brain to equate work with pleasure and to reinforce excellent behavior. When you associate fulfilling objectives or finishing work with pleasurable rewards, you establish a strong motivator to keep moving forward and reduce procrastination. Selecting incentives that truly inspire you and fit with your hobbies and taste is crucial. This guarantees that the benefits are truly pleasurable in addition to being effective, which enhances the satisfaction of conquering procrastination. Keep in mind that these incentives don't have to be costly or time consuming. Little straightforward joys can function as powerful inducements. In addition to offering awards right now, think about establishing milestones or long-term incentives. For example, you may set up a higher incentive for finishing a bigger project or reaching a long-term objective. This strategy gives you something appealing to look forward to, which helps you stay motivated and focused for a longer amount of time. It also motivates you to keep up your efforts and not give up, since you know that in the end, your efforts will be rewarded with more success. You may develop a comprehensive productivity approach that not only prevents procrastination, but also maintains your motivation and engagement with your work and goals by combining both short-term and long-term incentives. 
Tip 8. Visualize success. Procrastination may be overcome with the use of visualization. Spend a moment picturing yourself performing your chores effectively. Imagine the sense of accomplishment and the wonderful effects it will have on your life. By envisioning success, you may train your mind to be productive and strengthen your conviction that you can beat procrastination. A powerful tool for using your mind's ability to overcome procrastination and accomplish your goals is visualization. When you visualize yourself doing things well and efficiently, you set up a template for success in your mind. This mental practice strengthens your confidence and self-belief by conditioning your brain to think that you can accomplish your goals. Additionally, visualization may assist you in mentally preparing or impending difficulties and foreseeing them, which will improve your ability to overcome hurdles when they present themselves. You can presently teach your mind to be more proactive and productive by continuously imagining success, which will eventually make it easier to fight procrastination. Visualization may also be a source of inspiration and of course motivation. A strong internal motivation to bring your dreams to life arises when you connect with the good emotions like satisfaction and fulfillment that come with reaching your goals. These sentiments of positivity serve to offset the negative emotions such as guilt and worry that are frequently associated with procrastination. By utilizing the driving power of visualization, you reduce the tendency to put things off and develop a proactive mentality that will help you move forward with your goals more steadily. Thus, dedicate a little period of time each day to envisioning your achievement and see how it changes the way you approach both productivity and procrastination. Tip 9. Manage your energy. Burnout and low level energy levels can promote procrastination. Take care of your energies to be on top of your game. Get adequate rest, eat meals that are balanced, and work exercise into your daily schedule if you can. When you put self-care first, you'll have the strength and focus needed to attack challenges. A key component of overcoming procrastination and sustaining long-term productivity is energy management. Your energy reserves are like the little fuel that drives your productivity engine. It is harder to stay motivated and concentrated when the fuel runs out. Sleep is a vital component of energy regulation. Restoring your physical and mental vitality, sharpening your focus, and making better decisions all depend on getting enough sleep. Make it a point to get adequate sleep every night. A refreshed mind is better to handle responsibilities and can withstand the temptation to put things off. A healthy diet and regular exercise are essential for controlling your energy levels in addition to getting enough sleep. Your body requires a balanced diet to get the nutrients it needs to perform at its best. And regular exercise increases your energy level and of course mental clarity. During your work week, taking brief pauses for physical exercise might help to assist fighting off the sluggishness that frequently results in procrastination. Additionally, you may refuel your energy and lower your stress level by engaging in mindfulness and relaxation practices like meditation or deep breathing exercises. This will make it simpler for you to stay on target and keep a proactive mentality. Thus, keep in mind that energy management and self-care are necessities rather than merely indulgences if you want to overcome procrastination and accomplish your goals. Tip 10. Start with the most difficult task. We frequently have a tendency to put off the most difficult jobs since they need more effort and of course concentration. But starting with the most challenging activity may be extremely liberating. Start your day by finishing the project you've been putting off. You'll find it simpler to overcome obstacles and achieve considerable progress when your energy and attention are at their highest. Starting the hardest activity of the day may be a game changer for overcoming procrastination and increasing productivity. You may make the most of your peak energy and mental clarity, which are usually at the best in the morning by starting on the most difficult assignment. With this strategy, you can reach your greatest potential and take on challenges when you're most prepared to do so. This means that you not only do the hardest work of the day with great progress, but you also create a pleasant atmosphere for the remainder of the day and feel motivated and accomplished when you complete your other tasks. Moreover, there is a psychological benefit to finishing the hardest work first thing in the morning.
It clears the mind of the residual tension and worry brought on by procrastination, making room for other crucial obligations. You boost your self-esteem and gather enthusiasm for the upcoming chores as you cross off the hardest activity on your to-do list. This feeling of achievement turns into a strong motivator that pushes you to keep going and take on the new things with more vigor. Therefore, develop the practice of taking on the most difficult chores first in order to combat procrastination and start each day on a constructive note. You will gain from this proactive approach. Create a budget that works for you and track your debt, monthly bills, savings, expenses, cash envelopes, sinking funds, savings challenges, and more. This budget planner is perfect to take control of your finances even if you are a beginner and just started your financial journey. Featuring 200 plus planner pages with and without sidebars, over 1500 planner stickers in 14 unique colors, and 50 plus quote layering stickers that allow you to customize the background to match your planner style. All this and more can be found in the budget planner bundle, available in two amazing color options at PerspectivePlans.com. Paperback edition, now available at Amazon. Helping you plan for what's to come. Tip 11, find your motivation. Procrastination may be prevented in large part through motivation. To increase your productivity, identify your motivators. Find your why. Whether it's a picture of your future achievement, a desire to change the world, or a reward that lies ahead. Use your inherent motivation to keep moving forward even when things are difficult. The key to beating procrastination is discovering and using your motivation. Your activities are motivated by your why and it's a lot simpler to stay dedicated and focused when you have a strong compelling why for what you're doing. Take some time to think about and reflect on your motivators. Think about what genuinely motivates and inspires you. It may be an image of your success in the future, the good deeds your labor can produce for others, or the personal development and fulfillment you experience when you reach your objectives. Once you've identified your motivation, keep it close at hand as a source of inspiration and reminders. Make vision boards or visual reminders that represent your dreams and ambition. Maintaining a close relationship with your motives might be facilitated by routinely visualizing your intended results. Additionally, praise your progress as you go along and split your goals down into smaller milestones. Acknowledging your success boosts your drive, which makes it simpler to avoid procrastinating and to stay on track. To fight procrastination and realize your objectives, fuel your desire, and keep it blazing brightly. Desire is what drives you ahead. Tip 12, use productivity tools. We have access to a wide range of productivity tools and applications in today's digital world that can keep us organized and of course focused. Explore the possibilities from task management applications to time monitoring tools and choose the ones that are most effective for you. Take use of technology to streamline your processes. Therefore, use productivity tools wisely to streamline your activities and overcome procrastination. Using digital productivity tools may revolutionize the way you fight procrastination and streamline your processes. There's no shortage of software and programs that are meant to keep you focused, efficient in your work management, and organized. Task management tools like project management softwares or to-do lists let you organize your work by breaking down larger tasks into smaller parts and of course setting deadlines. With the use of time monitoring software, you can keep an eye on how you spend your time and pinpoint areas where you might be more likely to put things off. You may increase your productivity by utilizing these tools to get insights into your work patterns and then make well-informed modifications. Additionally, think about adding productivity tools to your tool set, such as the Eisenhower Matrix or the Getting Things Done method. These techniques offer frameworks for efficiently organizing your workflow and setting priorities for your activities. The GTD approach, for example, places a strong emphasis on gathering all of your tasks in one location, processing them and then arranging them and ranking them according to urgency and priority. To prioritize your work, divide them into four quadrants using the Eisenhower matrix. You can use them to simplify your daily routine, choose wisely which tasks to prioritize and eventually lessen the hold procrastination has over your productivity. This can be achieved by incorporating these techniques and tools into your daily routine. 
Tip 13, break up monotony. Procrastination may be bred by monotony. It's critical to switch up your routine if you see yourself growing stale or even run down. Include brief pauses throughout your workday, switch up your tasks, and if you can, alter your workspace. A new environment may greatly improve your motivation and productivity. Adding to variety to your everyday schedule is a great way to keep procrastination at bay and maintain high productivity. Boredom and a lack of drive brought on by the monotony increases the likelihood of procrastination. Include regular pauses throughout your work to combat this. Even little pauses of a few minutes can assist in avoiding mental weariness and help you clear your head. Try stretching, take a small stroll, or even engage in a brief mindfulness activity at this time to help you refocus and feel more energized. Think about changing up your duties and responsibilities as well. Motivation may quickly fade when you're caught in a loop of doing the same things over and over again. Make sure to change up the kinds of chores on your to-do list to maintain interest and of course engagement. In addition to breaking up the monotony, this variation fosters creativity and improves problem solving abilities. Additionally, try to sometimes switch up your physical office or even your surroundings. Relocating to a new place might provide you new insight. Oh my god. Relocating to a new place might provide you some new insight and spark your passion for your career. Changing up your workspace, working in a new room, a coffee shop, or even outside can do wonders for rekindling your enthusiasm and thwarting away in procrastination. Tip 14, don't aim for perfection. A significant barrier to productivity is perfectionism. Overzealous self-criticism, analytical paralysis, and eventually procrastination are frequently the results. Recall that progress is preferable to perfection. Accept that development rather than perfection is the goal and give yourself permission to make errors so you may learn from them. It's true that perfectionism may be a significant impediment to productivity. The constant loop of self-doubt and excessive self-criticism that results from striving for perfection can immobilize you and prevent you from moving forward. Adopting the motto, progress is preferable to perfection, might lead to a profound change in perspective. Recognize that nobody, not even the most successful people, are flawless in whatever they do. Instead, concentrate on ongoing development and progress. Honor your accomplishments and see your errors as insightful teaching moments rather than as setbacks. Make sure your goals are attainable and reasonable in order to break free from the perfectionism trap. As you work toward completing your responsibilities, break them down into smaller, more manageable chunks and accept that they might not be perfect. Don't forget to ask for comments from others as well. An outside viewpoint might offer insightful criticism and help you see your work from a different angle. Embracing a growth-oriented mentality and letting go of the need of perfection can help you overcome procrastination and continuously move closer to your objectives. Keep in mind that in the end, what counts most is the process of improving rather than the final destination of perfection. Tip 15, celebrate small wins. Celebrating your successes, no matter how modest, is a potent procrastination busting strategy. Recognize and enjoy your advancement for a minute. Recognizing your efforts and the actions you have made to reach your objectives is crucial. Celebrate each accomplishment as you progress toward overcoming procrastination. You will be inspired to keep going on and your motivation will be boosted. Recognizing little victories is an essential habit to develop if you want to beat procrastination and maintain motivation. No matter how big or little your accomplishments are, when you celebrate and recognize them, you transmit back good signals to your brain. The influence this positive reinforcement has on your drive and output might be significant. Small victories stack up one after another, piece by piece, to create a growing sense of confidence and, of course, achievement. This increased self-assurance strengthens your conviction in your capacity to take on even bigger jobs and problems, which makes it an effective weapon in the fight against procrastination. Furthermore, acknowledging little victories gives your efforts energy. It gives you a steady stream of encouraging feedback and breaks down your goals into doable chunks. This might be especially helpful when you're feeling overwhelmed or even trapped. 
It is simpler to stay motivated and focused when you take time to consider your accomplishments and the progress you've made. Therefore, don't undervalue the importance of acknowledging and celebrating your minor victories in your fight against procrastination. Whether it's giving yourself a little treat, telling people about your accomplishments, or just pausing to feel proud of yourself. Share this awesome episode with someone you know who needs it to help them plan for what's to come. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I hate for you to miss the next episode. Now, let's get into our recap. So let's do a quick recap just in case you missed a tip on our wonderful list. Tip one, set clear goals. Tip two, prioritize tasks. Tip three, eliminate distractions. Tip four, break it down. Tip five, set a timer. Tip six, find accountability. Tip seven, reward yourself. Tip eight, visualize success. Tip nine, manage your energy. Tip 10, start with the most difficult task. Tip 11, find your motivation. Tip 12, use productivity tools. Tip 13, break up monotony. Tip 14, don't aim for perfection. Tip 15, celebrate your small wins. And there you have it, 15 effective strategies to beat procrastination and increase productivity. Which advice today really struck a chord with you? Let me know down below in the comments or even in your podcast review. Procrastination is the thief of time, but action is the creator of destiny, unknown. I just want to take a moment to thank our patrons and channel members. This episode would not be possible without your support. Thank you. And if you would like to support the show, visit patreon.com forward slash perspective plans today. Thank you so much for stopping by and pressing play. I truly appreciate it. Let me know down below in the comments or your podcast review what tip you'll be using. Keep planning for what's to come and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.